Hey guys, Kilotho here. So today I have something on my bench that I've been wanting to work on for quite some time. What we have here is a Game Boy Advance. This is the original version, not the SP, as you can see. This has a different shell on it. Um, just a, I don't know, fairly cheap one I bought off eBay. Um, it also has a glass screen instead of plastic, and it also has the AGS 101 backlit screen from the GBA SP. So I did this mod a while ago and it works amazing. It's absolutely great. There's only one downside to this system now. And that is that it's running on two AA batteries. I have some rechargeables in here now, which they work all right. I mean, you don't have to keep buying new ones. So um, today I'm going to, you know, try to figure out how to get this thing to run on some lithium batteries. So, um, there's many things that I've found looking online, but uh, what it comes down to is the information out there is very little, really. So, I'm going to show you my findings and, um, and then we shall proceed. Okay, so first off, let me talk about the battery. Um, what I have found is that the Game Boy Advance SP battery, which this is an 850 milliamp hour, uh, 3.7 lithium battery, which is basically one of these. So I have two of these pulled apart. You just pull the sticker off, pop it out of this case. There's a little uh, board that's there's a little board that's on top here, and you just you just pop that off. And um, so I just tape these together with some high temp tape and uh, soldered a little a little pin across there to hook the positives together the negatives on the side and uh, and what's great about this is that after you remove just a little bit of plastic here on this side that little nub in the bottom and this piece over here and um, I just removed the other connectors here so I'll show you what it looked like before so you can see here I removed this bottom piece, snipped this off here, just snipped that piece off and just pulled this out completely. And then uh, as you can see I just soldered these wires in here. So I'm going to make this a little more, um, you know, not so many wires. And uh, But basically you can see here that this thing um, it just drops down in there. It fits in there really nice actually, but I have to get all these wires out of the way. So two batteries in parallel, as well as one of these to handle the charging and the protection. This is just a, uh, it's a cheap little uh, single cell lithium charger that you can buy on eBay. And I mean, it's like a few dollars for like 10 of them, you know, they're pretty cheap. And um, you just wire it up. And um, this thing actually fully charges the battery to 4.2 volts. So that means there's an obstacle to overcome. Um, but what I've come up with, and I found this online somewhere, was basically just using one of these Zener diodes um, attached from the out positive that runs to the GBA, drops the voltage enough to where it doesn't go into protection mode. Because I was doing some testing with this, and this thing... Basically, once you get over 3.7 to 3.8 volts, it just shuts off. You lower it back down, it comes back on. So it's it's got some kind of over voltage protection built into the system. But basically, you just positive and negative of the battery hooked to here, and then out to whatever you're using this for on the outside. So you charge it just with a regular micro USB, and then the battery flows its current through the protection, and then back into your device. So it's super handy. Super simple, easy to use, and um, and like I said, I'm gonna get this dialed down a little bit smaller. Not so much wires here. I was I was basically just doing some testing to see how long this thing would last. Um, I ran just a uh, one of these video cartridges for I don't even know. I watched it three. I watched this movie three times. The voltage is still up there, so I'm not sure what the cutoff limit is. But as you can see, it's still you know, it's still working, so. So this is a really good solution to getting
get this to work. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm going to um, basically thinking I'm gonna mount this on the back side here like this. So I'll have to clean up these wires and change it. I'll have to um, put a little hole here so you can just plug this thing once it's in there. Alright, so as you can see, I guess this is going to sit in here like this. It's a, it's a pretty good hole. I think I um, think I could have done a little better. Luckily this is a spare lid that I have, so I think I might redo this. Um, so plugged in. Um, you can see the light. It's not super lined up. I just, I think I, uh, I don't know, I need to drill the hole over just a smidge more, but I think I have a fix for that. So, I have a little piece of plastic here. I'm just going to basically turn into, you know, smoked, opaque. There we go. See the difference there? A little bit of sandpaper does. So let's test this out real quick. So there you go. Perfect. Look at that. Nice. It'll look like that. Red. That's good enough. Grab a little bit of uh, super glue. So I'll just let that dry for a second. Okay, so as you can see, it's, uh, it's not the prettiest cut, but like I said, this is a uh, practice one with the uh, piece of opaque plastic, which was just a piece of packaging. So then I can solder my wires onto the points after I've hot glued this in there. And it is a lovely identifier for charging status. Beautiful. Works great. Good enough anyways. So, now, now I just need to shorten up these wires, transfer the stuff around, solder all of these under here. We're good to go. So, um, let's get to it. All right, so there you have it. You can see here that the battery is hooked up to the center terminals. The exterior terminals go to the positive and negative. I have the battery taped off here so that spring doesn't contact the negative. 
because um, apparently it does all of the sensing through the negative. These these two are actually hooked together, so it doesn't even matter. So I just put a little bit of hot glue there just to hold it down. And um, it's a little tight with those wires. I probably could use smaller wires, but you know, push it down and it snaps down and it stays. So you can see it's working. It's uh, powered on. There you go. You can see it's charging. You can play it while it's charging. So, and that looks nice in there with that little piece of scuffed up plastic. Sweet. That works very well. So, now I can put it into my really nice one here and um yeah it'll be awesome so i'll show you the finished product in just a second okay so there you have it i have just transferred it to this one yeah i know that doesn't look super great but uh oh well this was actually from a black original one and this is the uh this is the one from this knockoff case, so I'll just try it like this for a while. And if there's any updates or anything else that happens, I will let everybody know. But as far as this goes, really awesome. Really awesome. Couldn't be happier with this. This works great. So this is pretty sweet. All right, guys. Well, another project finished, and thank you for watching.